So what is up you guys? What is up? What is up? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm up early, 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 bright and early, early, early this morning. Cooking breakfast for my kids. Um I just want to come to you guys and talk because I have watched the video of this lady this morning. Well, I watched several videos, but the one that stuck out to me this week the most was this lady making a video about her uh, <clears throat> her dread journey and how she had to go through judgment, people talking about her, people being negative about her. Let me tell you something. My job puts me in an environment like where people judge and talk about me each and every day. Talk about every little thing that I got going on, every little thing that happens in my life. They, they try to keep up. And you cannot let that discourage you and worry you because people are going to talk and discuss your business forever till the day you hit your grave, okay? Don't let nobody stop you from doing something that you want to do or that you need to do in your life journey being here. People try so hard to paint you to be this person that you're supposed to be or you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to be here in life. And I catch myself doing that to my friends all the time. But you can't be like that because it's not right. Certain people haven't even reached the awakening. You know what I'm saying? Certain people are still stuck in a certain spot in their life and they're going to stay there. And then another thing, you know, God puts you through, 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 cert, through certain things because you have to tell a story. He already knew what was going to happen to you. He already knew what you were doing. He already knows what's happening, okay? I'm actually doing something called... <clears throat> A social experiment and a lot of you guys are failing in the social experiment towards me and it's terrible a lot of people who say they're your friends say they like you say they support you say they're there for you say you the homie they, they, they don't mean it because when you put them to the test they fail or they're not there And then God also already gives me sign about people who pretend to be my friends. Uh, <clears throat> I had an incident where I thought somebody who was near and dear to me was like, you know, this awesome person. Come to find out recently, not too recently, but recently like a couple of months ago i found out they were saying nasty stuff about me spreading nasty rumors about me talking shit about me wasn't really for me um lied on me that's why you don't you don't put your faith in no man you don't trust no person that's why i really don't trust people now because every time i do it always stabs me in the back but I try to be open. I try to have my heart open. I heard this message today and I knew it was for me because I'm really having a struggle, a hard time opening my heart back up because I've been hurt recently so bad to the point to where I'm very closed off. And I catch myself when I do close people off because you know, you could tell. <clears throat> but I try not to, but it is a habit that I have grown to protect myself and to protect me and my energy. But some people don't understand that and a lot of people won't understand it because at the end of the day, they're going through their own journey. You know what I'm saying? People have to go through their own stages in lives and stuff like that. And, and they won't understand your journey. No one will understand your journey but you. And a lot of people that you want to try to save 
I'm learning this too. A lot of people that you want to try to, you know, open up their eyes and tell them this and that and explain to them about this and that, they're not meant to know that stuff. Because they're here, they're here programmed for a reason too. You know what I'm saying? You can't, even if you were to tell your truth and to really try to open their mind and their eyes, they wouldn't even open it. Because they already been programmed. They're playing their part. Okay? They're playing their part. They're just doing them. You know? And when you're playing your part, and you're, you're, you're scheduled for this part in life, it's nothing really that a person can do to stay you off that path because you're meant to live in that frequency. <clears throat> it's just so sad because a lot of these people around here, see, I lived everywhere. Both my parents were in the army, retired military. So I lived everywhere. I experienced everything. I know how to get along with people. I know how to talk to people. A lot of people down here where I stay at, they don't know how to do that. They find that so intriguing or they get upset with you or they get mad with you or they, 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 they get jealous. Because they're doing something that you can't do. Little do they know you have gifts that they know nothing about. Okay? And it's just so intriguing to me because it's like people, people who you think this is old as dirt. Right? This is old as dirt. People who you think that were understand that you think will understand don't understand people who you think got your back don't got your back at the end of the day you have to look out for self you have to be for yourself in this world this world is getting very selfish because these people are starting to some are starting to wake up and some are starting to not understand and they're living a confused life and because they're so confused they, they miss what's really happening, you guys. And you can't do nothing but just let them go. Let them go and let them live. <clears throat> Woo! Y'all see that? Y'all probably didn't see that. I don't know what the hell is going on. See, certain stuff like that, like what just happened negative energies and certain frequencies will do stuff like that because they don't want you to spread a good word they don't want you to tell the truth they don't want you to really let it all out because certain things we cannot talk about certain things about that's going on with the government you can't discuss even if you wanted to you can't people don't understand that though just like with me certain things i can't discuss certain things i can't tell everyone because people, oh my gosh. So I had this recent situation happen to me, y'all. Look at these eggs. Perfect. Had this recent situation happen to me, right? <clears throat> and I'm telling, telling certain people. And they're not happy for me. They're being, the first thing they say is something negative. The first thing they said to me was something negative. You hear me? Wasn't positive. Wasn't even a, a, oh, congratulations, I'm happy for you. It was something negative. That's how you know. That's another sign of how you know that person or them people ain't for you. <clears throat> That's why I don't share a lot of my personal business with people. I don't do it because half of the time they're not happy for you. They ain't happy for you. And they, they really don't care. They just want to have something to talk about. And that's why I went ahead and um, rearranged some things now. Give y'all something to talk about. So y'all was really having me. Because y'all got so much to say. And I don't mind it because half the people that talk to you about you won't say it to your face. Won't confront you or ask you what's your reason. 
and will only discuss it amongst themselves. <laughs> and what's that? You supposed to be scared of that? No. You got me fucked up. And I'm the type of person I'm going to do the fuck I want to anyway. Shit, so ain't, no, ain't no person going to tell me get the hell. Like, what? No. <clears throat> Y'all. Yeah. But yes, you guys, other than that, my life is definitely next year. Woo! Next year, you guys. Things are definitely about to turn the fuck around. And people, so many people, ooh, so many people. Boy, I already know what's going to happen. I already know what's going to happen. But I'm going to just sit back. God has a funny way of the people who talk shit about you, the people who laugh at you, the people who discuss your business and, and try to judge you. He has a funny way of making those people pay for that shit. Funny way. And watch this. This is going to be so funny. This is going to be so funny. So hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. This is going to be so fucking funny. Just watch. My bad, y'all. I had to wake my kids up. They got to get ready for school. Y'all know how it is. Y'all do have children. Y'all are experienced parents. Oh, I'm so excited. I just thank the Lord for giving me strength and allowing me to be quiet and just sit into a quiet place. Y'all used to, I used to couldn't hold water. Used to couldn't hold no water. Now he done taught me how to sit in a quiet place. Woo! When you ask God to sit, let you sit in a quiet place. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. Y'all just don't know. Motherfuckers gonna see y'all here. And it's not about just sticking it to the man. It's about showing people their lesson. All that shit you talk, all that fakeness you gave. You thought I didn't know nothing about it. You thought I was motherfucking clueless. Now look at what God done done. Look at what you got to go through. Look at it. That's what he's going to do. Yes, y'all. <clears throat> That's why when my children get a little bit older, even though they're already going through it now, I'm going to make sure that I take them a lot of places and that they uh, experience a lot of things because and be around a lot of different people, not the same people. Because a lot of these people out here poverty mind. They never really had anything, been nowhere, done nothing. So, make sure I take my kids to places where they can actually experience real diversity and, and know how to adapt. That is very important. Very important. Y'all want to see my breakfast? That is very important. Very important. So... They got to experience that because I want them to live a bigger life. But y'all, I'm getting ready to eat. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope I was able to help. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on everything at kittycans underscore 94. I will be pushing out the videos. I just been really busy and got a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to try to stick to it. It's hard work, y'all. Vlogmas is hard fucking work, but thank you so much. All right. Bye.